guys, welcome back. This is Sarah with Toy Reviews for you. We're on day number 15, just 10 more days until Christmas. Can you believe it? Are you guys done with your Christmas shopping yet? I'm not. Well, anyway, I guess I better take a look and see what we're gonna be making today in the Christmas stocking. Let's see, and let's choose this one. Oh, cool. This looks like some candy on a vine. I saw this on Amazon.com and thought it was such a cool idea. It's kind of like growing your own candy on a candy tree. Or kind of like plucking grapes off of a vine. Only it's candy on a vine. So inside of this pop and cooking set, you get a plastic tray, all of the parts to make your candy tree, a green number one packet, a pink number two packet, a blue packet, and you will also need some water. So let's get started. The first step is to make our little plastic tree. I'll snap apart all the pieces from the plastic mold And then assemble all the little pieces onto the stick, starting with the smallest branch and then working our way to the largest branch. There, everything should snap together at the end. Now on to making the candy mixture. I'll grab my plastic tray and fill up the left side up to the fill line with water. Grab the green number one packet, open it up, and pour it all into the left side of the tray. They didn't give me a fork or a spoon to give this a little mixy mixy, so I guess I'll just leave it as it is. Now I'll grab the pink number two packet, open it up, and pour it into the right side of the plastic tray. Now I'll take my plastic tree and roll it in the solution on the left quite a few times and then move it over to the right tray and roll it a few times. Ooh, look at that! The candy's starting to develop on the branches. I'm going to keep going from the left side to the right side until I get a pretty good size candy. Unfortunately, in this video, I don't have any mixy mixy shoutouts for you guys. I did receive a few comments yesterday about people upset that they're not getting any shoutouts. And unfortunately, there are just so many mixy mixy shoutouts I have to give that I'm just not able to give it out to everyone. The shoutouts were a way for me to give back to you guys to let you guys know that I am reading your comments and that I appreciate you watching my videos. Please don't be upset or offended if I don't choose your name. It's nothing personal, it's just that you weren't randomly chosen that day for the shoutouts. Anyway, I still appreciate you guys watching, and I'll continue with the shoutouts tomorrow. This blue packet is full of sprinkles that you can add to your candy if you would like. Alright, it's looking great. Time for the taste test. This is actually a really interesting candy. I've never seen anything quite like it. Let's try one here. You can just pluck the little candies off the tree. Mmm. They are grape flavored gummy candies and they're not too sweet. It's actually quite good. Mmm. The powder on the outside is a little bit sour and definitely not overwhelming. I like this candy. It's really fun to make and it tastes really good. I have to give this one a thumbs up. Well, thank you guys so much for watching day 15 of the 25 days of pop and cooking. Tune in tomorrow for day number 16. See you guys tomorrow.